Oh my gosh. We're sorry, I'm sorry dude, but we have come. That's why we come. We don't come to play or to pick reports or to report uh, because we're not a media, a media house. We come to make a difference. Oh. Mm. And so, yeah, um, more details. Baba, my daughter, I told you, Julius, me, I can go. Julius, when you eighteen. Where were Julius in the 18? Yeah, yeah, Nasema eight or six. One name, one. Mamma said, You don't know. I don't know what that is. We could not so he is saying he's 18, <laughs> but born 1986. 82. 82. 82. 82. 82. He says that he's, I think it's a special case. You know, the reason why, guys, we ask people, uh, you know, their age is that the answers reveal the, uh, the cognitive function, the brain power, the brain capacity of the person. That's why we ask them the age. So when they respond, we know, okay, they can, they can comprehend their age. So this is his little house. And at Aunt Bakia, Mama, but I'm going to Aunt that woman would always disappear. I'm telling you, she would go. If I were her, I would also go. Because this is like a little toilet. you know, yeah, it's a Nindara. Oh, what else? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, and he also cooks from here. It's such a hot little house. And actually, guys, he also has nothing. There is no, that is the little sack where he sleeps. And I think when the woman ran away, she left her handbag. And uh, it's evidence of once upon a time, I was here. She was here once upon a time. So it's a little place and this guy needs a lot of help. And the Lord brings us into this brokenness because heaven says that I have put you down there to help the brokenness because we live in a very broken world. There is a lot of brokenness everywhere. And and that is why God brings us down here. So, oh, it's so hot. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. So, uh, we will help. We will help where we can. And we thank God for the partners that we have. Men and women of goodwill. Men and women who recognize their purpose and who are ready to leave it. Even if it means getting into Africa where the report has been very negative. They come and they sponsor and they support as others look upon them as, be, you know, the foolish ones, the gullible ones. They still come to Africa because Catherine. they understand that we came down here so that we can get back to God with the report. So this one was a bit lucky. Aliwa? Uh, See you. Oh, okay. 
Oh yeah, he's still one. Joseph was dealing with. This one you know why we were Jirani. Professor was talking about me speaking about the environment and I think it's as a content creator it's my prerogative to do that. This is Kakamega County. It is one of the most um, uh, densely populated areas in the country. There is a high population density and there is plenty of rain as you can see the green and the lush it's all green and you know all the yeah so and right now it's so humid it's so humid right now and um people were some people have harvested the maize although it was very little but they have done the harvesting and they are now preparing again land to plant beans i think here they they planted uh, sorghum. This is sorghum. And uh, it's just drying it up with some maize there, okay, like we can see. And so this is where we are. And we are on the western side of Kenya. Kenya is on the eastern side of Africa. Um, it is off Indian Ocean and you can look on the map some people think kenya and nigeria are one and the same it's actually to, to from kenya to nigeria it's more time flying in the air it's about eight hours from kenya to to nigeria but from kenya to south africa it's only four hours so we are more on the we are on the eastern end and we are closer to south africa than to Nigeria. So this is Kenya and these are the people who live in Kenya and you know they are Luyas. The people Luya means people of the front people of the courtyard. <laughs> people of the front yard, which means it means the people of peace, the people of love. That's what Luya means. And when we greet, when they greet they say Mlembe means peace, peace be unto you, peace, peace. So I just wanted to go off, off calf <laughs> to get to educate those people who love Africa. A few things about Africa geographically and the people and the kids, you know, just get people to know what they are watching. So, you know, Oh, you know, we have mm. the, the boot, those are the, the crocs. We've been buying a lot of crocs, guys. And we meet a lot of kids walking barefoot. And we bless them. Oh. We ask for donations that we may do more of that because there's too much barefoot. Too much barefootedness in these rural places.